Okay gang, here's a uh, slightly improved version of what we saw last night. It only has four magnets in the rotor here. Looking straight down you can see the magnets inside. This is a bearing assembly out of a VCR recorder, a very really good bearing assembly and I use it for a lot of things. You can also see the coil here with the magnet which is right right there. And that's the magnet that gets switched through the core when the core turns on this portion of the core goes uh, very uh, to the north because this is north on this side, south on this side. When the core turns on, this part of the core turns north. Out into here, it's right by, it, 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 very, very little action in here. It's just right in front of this magnet here where it turns on. Of course, it's being driven by a hollow effect device and a TP42 uh, transistor, standard old pulse circuit driving. This particular coil, when you look at the waveform, it really switches very lousy. It's not a good switching coil. It works well, but it does not uh, switch cleanly. I've had much better coils, but this is one step up from last night. Uh, and let's watch what happens here when we turn this thing on now. Give it a little, little, little start. And it, uh, it's running on 5 volts right now. Now this doesn't look like much here. Uh, I will uh, just say there's it running on 5 volts and let's go up to 19 volts. And it's the same now. Still got a ways to go. RPM, 3558 RPM, 4,000 RPM. Now, uh, for this one little call and four little magnets here. Uh, we're going 23 down to about 6 watts to do this here. Now, I just want to show you this is the next stage of the motor with only one coil. If we put four coils on this motor, it would probably turn up close to 10,000 RPM if it didn't fly apart. Anyway, just wanted to show you. I want you to see exactly how it works here, mainly. This is Ben, take those EP from the door of the smallest lab, and I'm getting ready to go up to American Idol.